Can put like this far. That's it. Mr. Joe Zaza now owns what used to be the Coleon family business in New York. <laughs> Out of the kindness of his heart, he gave you a job in his family. Contrary to my advice, you took the job. I offered you something better in the legitimate world. You turned me down. Now, you both come to me with this bad blood. And what do you expect me to do? Am I a gangster? No, you're not a gangster. And that was Papa's neighborhood. Now it's a sewer. Zaza runs it like a disgrace. That's what the women That's the tell past, Connie. I earned that territory with my talent. Commission gave it to me, and you approved. Yes. Come on, but I came to the party here. I'm not here to ask you for any kind of help. I could just kill this bastard. He's the one who needs the help. So kill him. What does all this have to do with me? Well, he's going on behind your back saying fuck Michael Corleone all the time. That's it. That's one thing it has to do with you, right? Say it to his face, one time, say it to his face, one time! Mr. Corleone, all bastards are liars. Shakespeare wrote poems. What am I gonna do with this guy? What am I gonna do with this guy? My interests don't conflict with Mr. Joe's eyes. Oh, you don't know how much your interests conflict with Mr. Joe's eyes, Uncle Michael. <laughs> He needs your support, Michael. Don't let me work for this guy no more, Uncle Mike. Let me come work for you. For me? Yeah, that's what. Tough guy? I don't need tough guys. I need more lawyers. Since we have no conflicts, no debts, I accept your children. I wish you well. Vincent, make your peace with Mr. Joseph. can't do that. You can. Yeah, I can do that. And why should I be afraid of Joe's house? Well, he knows you're stopping him from rising up in the commission, Uncle Mike. I said we make him dead. You give me the order. I'll take care of it. You take care of it? Yeah. Maybe you should uh, come with me for a few weeks. See what happens. Okay. See if you learn. Talk about your future. I won't let you down. 